What is up everybody? Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake back again with another blue review. This one is Severin's March release of Stone. This movie, I mean it says it's probably the best biker movie ever made and you know what? It's pretty close I would say. I, I say this is a fantastic movie. Like I'm I'm just gonna say it right now. I really, 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 really fucking like this movie. Now I am probably a bit biased because I am a biker, so it's like I really get into these kind of films, the whole biker genre of films that we don't get enough of today, but we used to get a shit ton of in the 70s. This one is from Australia, which is fucking cool, and I gotta say, it was it was just really fucking really fucking awesome this movie fucking kicks ass i'll say it right now like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna shy away this movie was fucking great um it was directed by sandy harbutt which this is the only film he ever directed and i don't understand why apparently nobody understands why because it is a huge cult hit i i would say it's actually a successful movie it wasn't at first it got like pretty bad reviews right out the gate but then it like really picked up um it's, it's real. It, it was just a really cool fucking movie, you know, like th it's the story of a biker game, the Grave Diggers, um, biker gang, motorcycle club, you know, they're called the Grave Diggers. They're an outlaw club, and one of them accidentally witnesses an assassination, but he doesn't actually witness the assassination because he's like tripping balls, so. He's just like out of it, but he's right there when the guy pulls the trigger and then the guy sees him. So the guy basically pursues them because, oh no, now he knows. So they got to cover it up. Uh, it, it makes for an interesting story. It's, I was hooked from the story, like, and the way they shot it, like the tripping effects and all that, it's really cool. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear those kids out there, you know, they're running around the house, but Yes, uh, it's called Stone. The, the main character is, his name is Stone. He's a cop that comes in in possibly like the worst outfit ever on a motorcycle. And tries to get in with this MC. And at first they obviously they don't want no pigs around. And piggy, we can look after ourselves, right? So they kind of shove him away and then he he basically saves their life or saves one of their lives because obviously they're getting bumped off all their members have been getting bumped off so this cop sent him to basically crack the case and solve the murders uh it's it's genuinely a good movie uh as far as seven releases go this is probably my favorite actually i mean i I'm not going to say I have hundreds of Severn releases in my collection, but this one is easily a top tier title from Severn. Uh, the story is good. There's a satis satisfying ending. It's coherent through and through. It's got a, I mean, it's got Hugh Keys Burn, which is the guy from Mad Max, the villain from the first Mad Max, and he was in Fury Road as a Morton Joe. Uh, Helen Morse, Roger Ward, Vincent Gill, and Reg Evans. Uh, there, there's a bunch of members of the Sydney Hell's Angels in here to give it more of that credibility. Uh, it was, I believe it was, this is an uncut 4K scan from Original Vault Elements that was supervised by Harbutt himself shortly before he passed away. This movie fucking kicks ass. I would give this movie a 9.5, it's almost a perfect movie, a 9.5 out of 10. And that's on a Severin scale. It's, I really, I really enjoyed this movie. For special features, special features, there is a making of 
which is from 1973. It's an original making of archival interview from a news magazine report, which is literally a half hour long. I, I spent more time watching the special features on this than the runtime of the actual movie. Then there's deleted and extended scenes. Then there's Stone Forever, which I'll tell you right now, if you're going to watch the making of Stone, you don't really need to. Like, it's cool that it's on there, but you don't really need to watch that because all the footage, well, at least 80 to 90% of the footage from that 30-minute documentary is in this 25th anniversary documentary, which, so you can save some time there rather than, I, I watched both of them because I watched that making of Stone first, and then I was like, oh, now I get to rewatch all that information put in here with the new interviews and stuff. So you might as well just skip right to that. Uh, it's got not quite Hollywood extended interviews, which was, I, I, I believe they're extended interviews from another documentary movie called Not So Hollywood, which is all about exploitation movies. And I mean, that's a long, long interview right there with Sandy Harbaugh, especially. And it's also really interesting, but it's, it's really long. Um, makeup tests. There's a slideshow with commentary by direct by by the director. It's got the trailer on there, and obviously it has the soundtrack CD, which I showed in my unboxing of the movie. Uh, this is this is a ju just a great just a fucking great release from Severin. Like I said, it's easily my favorite. Before Mad Max and the Road Warrior, there was Stone. It's, I can't, I, I can't praise this movie enough. It's, it might even be one of my top releases of the year so far. I mean, it's only March, but it's, it, it's a very, very accurate portrayal of bike culture, well, bikey culture. The elements from American biker culture and Australian bikey, con, bikey culture are really the same underlying like feelings like yeah once you've really ridden a big bike fast and hard who wants to do anything else that's right understand right right it's a good thing yep well that's why we're here man together because when we're out there riding with the grave diggers right Plus, we own the world what can stop us, man? What can stop us? It, it was, it's just refreshing to see it portrayed in such a realistic way. Um, yeah, so that is really all I have to say about this movie. I would recommend this one to anyone and everyone, especially if you're into the exploitation movies or exploitation movies. It's, it's really cool. It was super, super satisfying. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you if you like the movie, comment below. Tell me tell me if you maybe you hated it. I don't know. I, I like I said I'm a biker, so I eat, sleep, and breathe for my motorcycle sometimes. Uh, yeah, I would love to talk or hear other people's opinions on this movie. Um, if you like the video, smash that like button, and that's it. Uh, until next time, have a good day.